Alabama, Hope Pop, Mississippi, Possum Point, Georgia, Miami. Who's Amy? Miami. Hey, you mean your Amy? Bo Hunkers. Bo Hunkers? Bo Hunkers. Bo Hunkers? Oh, I'll take your part. Hoboken. Hoboken. Oh, well, uh, Mr. Conductor, I want to go to Hot Town. Hot Town? Yes. That's the last stop. Thanks. All aboard. All right, sir. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Greetings and salutations and meditations. <laughs> so, Tether Cat in the shy wilderness of pizza. I went looking yesterday or the day prior to effectively see what we could do with this um, tinker table. And I came across a bit of a dilemma in that to upgrade many of the items, including the Rec 3000, the depth meter, and the compass in the DPS meter, we needed gold bars, of which we did not have any. <sighs> so that was a little bit of a chore. One, two, three, four, five. And I decided that I would I want to hunt today to see if I could find gold bars. Let's let's go get some gold ore, make some gold bars, and create a gold watch. Now, while I was looking through all the things, I noticed that this item, this uh, station, a bewitching station, if you would, is pretty good as far as... Uh, 
minion summons go. It's not great, but it's pretty good. But it works better with something else in conjunction. So today we're going to actually see about looking into that extra item in conjunction. And now you might be asking, what is that extra item? Well, that extra item that we'll be looking for. And by the way, if we come across another uh, Queen Bee fight, we'll do our best to acquire more B items, but that item that we're going to be looking for is called a sharpening stone, and I distinctly remember seeing it when we were down where the queen was. So, we have all of our items. Let's go and take a look. Oh yeah, one other thing. We're not there yet. We're not there yet, fans. Uh, one of the items I noticed was that you can stack a stinger necklace with a shark tooth necklace for additional damage, which it just so happens we have more than one shark tooth necklace. The Dilemma is in finding said shark tooth necklace. Well, it's around, we have it. Just don't know where it is. Not yet. We'll, we'll get it. Shark tooth necklace. It's around. And then as soon as we get that, we'll be on our way. Not to beat and or defeat the queen, but more just to go on a gold digging adventure. We loves us some gold. I'm not seeing that shark tooth necklace. I wonder if I got rid of it. I mean, it's possible. I mean, anything's possible, but... Maybe it's in there. Nope, not seeing it. Shark tooth necklace, not happening. Oh. Maybe we'll come across another in the future. Probably while fishing, if I had to guess. Let's go on an Abigail hunt. Hey, 100th the zombie. celebrate the 100th zombie, we get to hang that right there. Hmm. Torches in a goodie bag, I'll take it. Yes, please. Look at us go. Keep on rocking in the free world. Oh, hey, so guess what? Today I managed to set up, successfully I might add, managed to set up Managed to successfully set up. Oh, there's my heart. 
I should take that with us, but um, a karaoke stream. And believe me, I was ecstatic to see karaoke happening. And here we go. We're right where we wanted to be. Now, somewhere in all of this, I found a sharpening stone. The question is where? I think it's in around down there. So we've got a little bit of a ways to go. Oh yeah, we're doing all right. This ought to be good. Come on, worm, where are you? <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, it's a fairy. How's it going? What did you want to show me? What's going on? Talk to me, fairy. What's what's happening? What's the score? And the other thing we wanted to do is to, if we manage to accomplish our goals and tasks, if we somehow manage to accomplish those items, the other thing that we... Oh, look at that. The other thing we wanted to do was to... Uh, um was to go down to the lava section. And if we can actually go down to the lava area and somehow, miraculously, I might add, find a way to get down there and Have some wood with us. We could build. Here we go. Where are we off to? I'm with you. I'm coming. This is it, eh? Really? Platinum. I don't know. Who's this guy? Hey, check it out. How's it going? Turn a Christia? Let's let's shop first. Defender's Forge? We need Defender's Metals. Attorney at Forge. Cool, we bought one. Crystal Stand? Cool, we bought one. Flame Burst Rod, Ballista Rod, Explosive Tap Rod, Lightning Aura Rod. They all require Defender Metals. Interact while carrying an eternity crystal. Summon ethereal portals. Interact with the cripple. And skip extra cries and waves. I have no idea what's going on. Cool. Ale. Down the hatch. And, uh... For starters, take some of these defender medals on the house. We've got some special defenses you can purchase, but only with defender medals. Great. I'll take him, sure. Blah, blah, blah. Great. Thanks a lot, pal. I have no idea who you are or what you are, but you're keen in my books. Safe travels. And he's dead. Now then, um, 
still looking for that house. Let's try up there. No, let's try down here. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's iron. Oh, hello. There we go. Check this out. This is what I was looking for. Sharpened. Melee weapons have armor penetration. So we're going to take this with us. Thank you. Hey, green fairy. Take this. Take this. I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff. Put the hornet banner there. Put the piranha banner there. Defender metal. Yay, currency retreating. We should have got one of those defender things. I didn't know that we had that. Well, now you know. And no one is half the battle, right? I would have bought one of those wands or whatever. Well, cool. Alright. That solves that. We now have one thing going on on our end. I want to, uh, ever so briefly, see that we have a demonic forge here with us. So let's see if we can craft anything right here and right now. Now well, that answer is no. Oh well. Okay, so we got our sharpening stone. That was our first goal of many. There's an undead miner nearby. Speaking of which, with an undead miner nearby. If possible, with an undead miner. I wouldn't mind. Oh, is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. I guess that guy's not around, is he? Not yet. Um, let's place the sharpening stone. Excellent. I'll put the keg right there. Nice. So let's dismiss our vampire frog. And now we'll click on that to get our bewitched max number of minions. We'll toss out our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. I don't think it needs that many, to be honest. We got four of them, apparently. And there, our sharpening stone. We're doing pretty good. That nasty snap thorn is pretty nasty now. Hey, what are you up, goblin tinkerer? Boots, ruler, hook, belt. Um, yeah, we got some tokens now. Let's eat one of these. I need a second one of these. No, we can't. Eternia Crista. Interact while carrying an Eternia Crystal to summon Ethereum's portals. Sure. Hmm. Yeah. You turn a crystal rejects this area and pops away instantly. The tavern mentioned I should place it in a large flat open area. 
Okay. Thanks for that warning. Let's place it up in a large, flat, open area, shall we? Meanwhile... Meanwhile, let's eat some cake. This guy's standing in our way. As such, it is very difficult to eat cake. Now everyone's here. We'll eat cake later. Um... Yes, we still want to go and explore sky areas. Hmm, I don't think we can put anything down. I'm going to put our metal right there just for the time being. We don't know what's going on, but that's a good a place as any for it, I suppose. Night Owl, Potion, Thorns, Danger Sense. Hmm. Alright, um, what else can we do? Poison dart. Let's, uh, take a look in here. And over here. Still not seeing that quick stack um, thingamabobber. Oh well. Quick stack to nearby chests. I saw that one. Goodbye. Right. Flipper, gravitation, lesser mana. We got wood armor. Who knew? Shine. Emits an aura of light. Sure, we'll take one of them. Mining? Yeah, we'll take two of those. Calming. Builder. Recall. Meteor ham axe. Hmm. Man of Flower. Oh yeah, we should talk to our fishing guy and see if there's any brand new quests. Hey pal, any new quests? Demolitionist. Caught in surface. Great. What's this lady want? Uh, purification powder. That's always in demand. Look at these two. They're actually playing rock, paper, scissors. Reaper robe. Reaper hood. Ancient cobalt helm. Cool. Got some Reaper items. That chest there. Got a Medusa statue, which is nice. Man, this is just a complete mess in here, isn't it? There's our advanced combat techniques. Should get that at some point. And our bed. And our axe. There's it. See? Rock, paper, scissors. Those guys are just chilling. Hey, let's get some cake. Um, 
not seeing that. Oh, there it is. Cool. That's what I was looking for. So the question is, can we put this anywhere? Boots, balloon, barrel claws, auto swing. There we go. Kind of want that to... Uh, kind of like where we are right now as far as weapons and damage go. Um, hey, pal. Imbuing station. Weapon imbuement flask. Do I have one of those? Yeah. Blowgun... Mountains, cauldron. I think I had a, a cauldron and an imbuing station. Yeah. Blood moon. Hey, fantastic. Let's, uh. What should we do? Should we. I don't want to go fishing per se. You know what? Let's head up. Let's head up. Let's go and have some enjoyment upstairs. Man. We spent so long making this tower up. Now it's completely redundant with all of the items that we have. There we go. Yeah. Bring it on. I admit it'd be kind of funny if we actually went fishing right now. But we don't have any fishing items. Oh well. Say la vie. Got a bee gun. What's that? Man. Is there anything I wanted to do anywhere I wanted to be? Goody bag. Defeated another harpy. Maybe we should go fishing. You know what? Let's go fishing. We'll grab our fishing items. Um, let's quick stack to nearby chests. Then we'll grab our Man, these are all out of whack. Don't need some of these. There we go. Should we okay? Is there a um is there a certain enemy that shows up during a blood moon? We defeat a certain number of items. I can't remember. I don't think there is to be honest, but perhaps there is. Either way, let's go fishing. I'm certain nothing is gonna touch us or harm us at this point. All right. Cool. Did you see that thing? Firefly. 
Let's keep our eyes open for more fireflies. More bugs. Once upon a time. <laughs> oh, we're not using the chum caster, are we? So this is just merely fishing during a blood moon is all this is. Oh well, that's fine too. So what if it's not our usual fishing? I guess I don't need to hide if that's the case. So anyway. Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day. So far, so good. I had a very nice breakfast. Ooh, zombie merman. Go get him, kids. Well, there's my chum caster. Wow. I very well may wish to actually step inside. Cool. Let's do that. Actually, if we're doing that, I might want to take this bucket of chum and... Oh, zombie merman got me. Well done, buddy. Well done. back up and see if we can finish off our stream before the blood moon ends. Which I'm pretty sure it's going to end shortly. Before we get a chance to use the chum caster again. Yeah, I guess my, uh, I guess my armor isn't up to snuff. Here we go. I have no idea what's going on, but it sure is loud. taking a chunk out of me. Got another vampire frog staff.
There we go. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to go back and get that. That item from Abigail. Which I deposited on my way over. Could have used her for that event. So we're going to look at some sky chests up here now, I suppose. After we grab all these items, thank you very much. And some of these items too. Let's just grab all the items. Yes, please, and thank you. All right. <laughs> nice. We can set the chum caster aside, and we'll set aside all of our bait as well. Bait doko. I think that's it for bait. That's fine. Um, did we need anything out of here? Shine potion. I think we had a mining potion that might have been set aside. Bird potion, sonar, sonar. Nope. Loom. Here's our bottled honey. We're looking for a really, really super awesome super awesome Abigail flower, which somehow got relocated. And I believe that's it. Let's take that out of the way. Let's take that out of the way. And let's do this. One, two, three, four. We get four out of that usage. I think we can put the fish away too. Is that it for fish? I believe it was. We got a top hat. Be nice to put the top hat away. And there's another shark's shark necklace. This one's spiked and that one's spiked. Cool. Try to find one, you find seven. Um, so we'll keep these together. Do we need any feather? No. Was that in there? Top hat. Feather. RP banner. Um, what am I looking for at this point? Hey, Llewellyn, the traveling merchant arrived. Let's go over to our piggy bank, actually. Do a quick stack here. And then we'll very quickly add these things and 
Say hi to him. Hey, pal, what up? Life form analyzer. I've seen that... I think the gi can be paired with other items. But, eh. I don't much care for that. And was there anything left in here that I wanted to take a look at? No, it all looks pretty tame. Something went away. Alright, um, we don't need the lens. We can actually just get rid of that. Might as well open up the goodie bag. Don't need the life crystal at this point. We got lots of... We got a wooden crate. A shine potion. Okay. I think we're pretty good this way. Let's open up the goodie crate. And we got a painting, another witch's item, and some more rotten eggs. So not much we can do with any and or all of that. But I think we got a spare chest up in around this area. Yeah. And the last and final thing that I want to do is to acquire, as I say, shine potion. We want a mining potion. Just got to find out where it is. Mining potion had a big star pattern on it. So it's probably down in these areas. Hmm? Hmm -hmm. Shine mining one, two, three, one, two. Night owl and calming. Yeah, I think that's all we wanted. Great. We're good to go. Let's head up to that upper area. Go look for Sky. So we're hunting gold. And if we can't find gold up in there, if we can't map the sky and find gold, then we're going to have a rough time of it. I should have put a drank a builder potion. Now that I'm thinking about it, but that's cool. Alright, Abigail. You're on. start. Excellent. Looking for a sky area. Hello. I didn't quite mean to do that, but that's cool, too. And there's a chest. Hello. Hey, we got us a lucky horseshoe. We were looking for one of those. Mining, more recall. Cloud. Loot. 
Awesome. I feel like putting my bed up here, but it's all presumptuous, don't I think? Good stuff. On to the next. What's the horseshoe do? Negates fall damage. Alright. That was okay. Didn't find any gold. That was a bit of a bummer. Hey, it's that guy. What are you doing up here, pal? Five defender medals. Flame burst. Summons a sentry. Sounds pretty cool. Flame burst rod. Hey, I bought your beer earlier. Anyway, I'm just here for gold. Oh no, there's nothing. Worst place ever. Tell you what, let's switch up our housing. Who do we hate? I hate... Let's, uh... Housing is already occupied. I hate that golfer. Wait, arms dealer. Who's the golfer? You're the golfer. There. Oh, well, I don't think I was able to accomplish my task. For more sky areas and more gold. Well, this might be the last one. Yeah, that's the last one, all right. Well, we wanted to check out the dungeon. Now as good a time as any as well. We can definitely keep that lucky horseshoe and use that in whatever we need to. But we still need gold, so let's uh, let's go searching around a little. Sharpened and bewitched. Alright. What can we get rid of? Don't need... Recall, mining... We actually don't need recall potions at this point. Get rid of that feather. That leaves us with about... 13 slots that we can try and tackle a little bit more of this dungeon with, although now we have a lot more going on here. Great. Let's, uh, let's do some damage. Let's tackle some chests. Do, do, do. Where are we? Yeah. 
our goal is to kill off many of the enemies that we find. Yeah, since that spawns randomly, we can get rid of those torches. Or not. And we'll just keep our eyes open for that then. Dungeon slime. Oh, there's a blue candle. The time is 8.50 p.m. Local. handed to me on that one, didn't I? Hmm. Oop. Heal up. Come on. Come on. Healing potion. Let's really quickly make a campfire. We'll set her down right here. sure the vampire frogs are helping out but they're kind of dumb when it comes to that little area Dungeon Vaz. Let's 
still don't know where that... Still don't know where that uh, water clock is, but... Cool. Let's take this, whatever it is. Green Dungeon Piano. Clothier Voodoo Doll. Oh, well that was, uh, was tense. Not gonna lie, that was tense. Whoa! Got one of those guys with us. Annoying handgun. Who's this guy? Doesn't matter, he's gone. Great, they're on the case. Loot all. Get rid of the... Can we get rid of... Get rid of the plate. Get rid of the water walking potions. Actually get rid of the pumpkin as well. with us. Oh, and there's the, uh, there's the water candle. Got to take that with us. There's another one. All right, thread over. Good job, team. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Hmm. Let's see what's up over here. It's all in here. Hey, anger bones. Good job, team. Just plain old don't have any inventory for anything, do we? Wait, Caster. You have bother me. Oh, cool. We got another lucky bracelet or some such. Tally counter. a tally canter. We already got one. Yeah, quickly it all fills up, doesn't it? Stuff's going on down there. Hmm. 
Go get him, boys. can do that. Okay. Well, we're clearing out. We're making some progress on all this. Ideally, we want to get that water rich candle thing. Yes. Still. Gold coin. We get rid of green piano. We keep the keys. I can't imagine how many shadow keys we have not been able to pick up, but that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're pretty good for what we have right now. We can drop a couple of torches right here and here. Oh, look, it's another clothier tall. I wonder if we can have more than one. Nope, just one. Well... Let's let's clean up then. That's enough of that. Let's head back. Lots of items. Lots of items. Can we deposit literally anything? I don't know. Let's just head right here and do a quick stack. There goes the Abigail's thing. Bring that back and everything else is pretty cool. Hey, we got a lucky horseshoe. Keep that guy handy. Really don't want that. Hmm. You know what? No, I guess not. I was going to say, let's put the piano away. Mr. Voodoo Doctor, sir. You look like you're interested in the fine notations of piano. Allow me to accommodate... Or not. That's awkward. Hey, pal. What can I make with this? Bundle of horseshoes. Obsidian horseshoe. Nice. Of course, I think I need some obsidian. Oh, I need an obsidian skull. Of course I do. Well, what 
do we have right now? We got a Sharkrin balloon. Which is pretty much the same thing, isn't it? I totally want that horseshoe balloon set. Oh, um. <laughs> All right, let's head back and see if we can deposit more of those eggs. Those eggs that we really are not fond of. draft anything or craft anything can we is there anything we can craft that we haven't been able to do an inlet pump and an outlet pump that'd be all right fossil graves it's kind of cool the inlet pump and the outlet pump What else we got? Yeah, we can make more. Because, you know, we just don't have enough of those. Hey, can I create a gold bar? No, of course I can't. Why would I want that? Still no luck on the gold bar. Shine potion, mana potion. Well, we're going to head back up and we'll take a look at the... Oh, yeah, the mining potions are elsewhere, aren't they? We'll head back up. We'll take another look at the um, another look at the sky, and check it out. Hermes boots. We'll take another look at the sky, and if we can find. If it is visible, then I would not mind in the least. Gonna need more chests right there. Wouldn't mind in the least to see if we can find a uh, another sky chest. See if we can get gold. But if not, then we'll just go and head over to the uh, to, to the jungle. See if we can get gold that way. Maybe the, we should stick to the dungeon. The dungeon didn't give us literally anything. Maybe that's an option. I don't know.
sky chests, gold, where are you gold? Hoping we can find gold anywhere possible. Yikes. Well, that ended a little too soon for my liking. Oh well. fill as much of the sky as possible, but I really think that we need to start building that area out a little more. I have no idea what's going on. fishing hole. Not that we can use it or anything, but we got a fishing hole nonetheless. Hey, what do you know? It's the ocean. Cockatiel is what we've got in there. <sighs> All right, looks like I was apparently digging down. Why? Who knows? Because I was. Let's go down a lot more. And then uh, once we get down... Thirty six underground. Actually, no, I think we'll find that we can do better even further. Uh, let's what, fight club. much for that false start. This game is all about false starts, it seems.
All right. Looks like a nice enough place. I don't know how effective gold is going to be down here, but we can take a wander around. Got some lava, so that's promising. We can take some of those potions now. All right. Show me the money. We didn't take a treasure potion, I notice. That's dangerous. So what do you think? We got gold in around this area, do we? Should I start digging down, maybe? Where do you think that we're going to find the gold? Well, it looks like crimtain ore or some such. Dawn's me making it a lot harder than I should. See? That wasn't such a chore now, was it, Ray? Hello, what's that?
Silver is nice, but... Well, let's see what's on over here. a little place I want to find. Let's head over there. Do do. Oh, well, got some stuff going on down there too, eh? Band of regeneration. Get rid of the sand. Get rid of the cobweb. Keep the bomb. Get rid of the lesser healing potion. Rid of a recall potion. All right, let's continue, shall we? Hey, buddy. There's lots going on over there, isn't there? Another detonator there. something. A lot of crimtain over there, but we don't need crimtain at this point. We need gold. Can I help you?
mining. Do we have any other potions? Nope. Okay. all the gold. I suppose it'd be easy to find a traveling merchant as well and just see if that merchant would sell us that gold. Good job, team. Hmm. Something down there. Oh, definitely something over here. Rally. so we don't need a rally. Let's, uh, let's see what's down here. It says I defeated the black slime. I have no idea what I did. There we go. End of the line there. Actually, let's see if there's anything over this way. Just break all the pots, shall we? 
everything in sight in one easy step. That's promising. Only honest people hide stuff in plain sight. This is just exactly what I need. Hey, pal. Ooh, nice color green there. Alright, let's take a look around, shall we? See what's below us, shall we? Be nice if we can figure out where that wall creeper is. Hmm. Wonder what that was. Right in here. Ah, here we go. Yes, please. Oh man, this is my bread and butter right here. First off. Thank you. And now secondly. Hiya. All right, boys, have at him. Hunting season is open. Fried egg. Consumable. Yeah. 
Blink root gone. Great pressure plate gone. Ground pressure plate gone. Dynamite. Cobweb gone. Silver ore gone. Seeds gone. Alright. Looks good so far. Let's see if we can get some items, shall we? What's this thing? Nothing. for the creepy. Hey, check that out. That's cool. It's another, um, another thing. Web stylist. Cool. We got a web stylist near us. Which do you think she is? There's a chest. That's bound to be something. Web Slinger. Silver, healing, uh, gold. Another chest down there. Whip slinger, more of the same. It all Titan potion. Get rid of, we can get rid of that, we can eat that, and we can mine that. Oh, what's that? That's cool. Don't know what that is, but that's alright. Still looking for that lady. See what's down in there. Oh, look at this. Found them. Found where they were.
Did I ride that? Yeah, I rode that. But there's another... There's another track. And it's right here. Let's go up. This can only be good. Slinger, really. All right, let's see what's going on here. Pants. This is kind of cool. Red husk. Dropped a goodie bag, no less. Oof. This is a long one. Man, this is a really long cave. I don't mind that. This is an exceptionally long cave. Oh, nice. Full up, so let's make room. So I'm sure we missed a lot of things in there. Get rid of the recall potion, get rid of throwing knives. We really can get rid of the dynamite. Get rid of the stone. See that? There's a room right over there. Slime statue. Cool, it was connected to a slime statue, I think. Just to be sure. Let's grab our handy dandy little. Oh, we don't have our wrench. Somehow our wrench has escaped our grasp. Oh, that's fine. Boots. Yeah, you're gone. Slime statue was attached to a pressure plate. That's odd. Oh, it's a flinx. A flinx. Hey, flinx, grab me your flinx things. 
Looks for get rid of that pressure plate. I'm curious what that is. Nothing. Down, eh? We won't. All right. If you want to go down, I'll go down. Remember, kids, never dig straight down. That's it. We passed by about 30 of these things. If I was looking for hell, I think I found a promising area. Sapphire. Get rid of Sapphire. I can take whatever this thing is. Eyeball statue. Hey, pal. They call him uh, Tim. Glad that I got the reference. Wizard hat. Yay. Nice. Second verse, same as the first. bag for us. On the end of the line. Get rid of the stone. Get rid of the cobweb. Oh, Pinky's nearby. fairies nearby. Or some blue fairies nearby. We don't care about the blue fairy. Get the goodie bag. That's all right. Oh, 
Yeah. Hey, cheeseburger. Anyone ever say no Pepsi to you? Because, you know, that's an old person thing and not certain if you're old enough to pick up the reference. How's it going? So, anyway. Um, right. We're doing some loud stuff. We're doing this. So, what we're doing is we're just mapping out the area as we ride this rail. Ultimately, we're just trying to find gold. Is that too much to ask? So, if you're adverse to loud noises, it's good. What about you? Hell, I'm doing fine. I'm having a good in night, although I can't find gold for the life of me. You know, it's incredibly difficult to purchase gold in this game. Oh well. Yeah, the traveling merchant has arrived. I feel like we should head back and say hello to the traveling merchant in a moment or two. Here we go, end of the road. Yeah, let's head back. Have you found platinum? Boy, have I found platinum indeed. See, here's the thing. Um, I am looking to construct a gold watch. That's what I'm looking for. I just need to buy a gold watch. Hey, buddy, what up? Magic hat. I think I have one of those. A fez. A paint sprayer. Oh, I need a paint sprayer. And a portable cement mixer. Um, hold on a sec, buddy. I'm going to create some chest areas. And drop off some items. Well, hey, no worries. You're asking. It's an honest question. No harm, no foul, right? What else? Slime hook. Uh, cream taint ore life saga. Yeah. We should be okay. So we've got the Wreck 3000. We've got Grand Design. And then we have all this loose stuff. And all we need is Gold Watch. Sword Inventory Quick Stack. Kaboom. And it all goes away. Unfortunately, it all goes away and we need our mystic flower back. Um, so it's not like it's a bad thing or anything. Quick stack. Okay, those all went away. We keep the silt block. Put the tin ore in this chest. Great. How are we doing? Let's get our money out of the piggy bank. You're not our piggy bank. Yeah, so I've got one uh, platinum. Although I hadn't actually considered, to your point, I hadn't actually considered. Yeah, we still got our thing. Um, using platinum. Need a paint sprayer. Portable cement mixer. I think those are two items that we can purchase from the merchant towards our further goal. But, yeah, so let's see if we can take out... I. But hey, uh, I appreciate the suggestion. If you have any more suggestions, I'm all ears. Crafting. See, I got four gold bars, and I think I need ten to make a gold watch. Yeah, it's it's just quite simply, it's the gold watch. That's that's really it. Speaking of which, where's my where's my chains? 
Chain, 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 doko, chain, doko. Yeah, I can't even find the chains at this point, but maybe I can just make more, right? Haha. -ha. Yep. Crafting ores. Iron bar. Tin, lead, iron. Here, that's how to get us some chains somehow. Here they are, chains. Cool. Now then. Gold chain. Not even an option. Yeah. Um, and this has been the stream, really. I mean... Could always get more gold, but so much ore. I know, right? I have so much ore. I really, really do. And all I'm looking for is gold. How long have you played? I have no idea. I mean, technically 10 years, but in this game here, that doesn't really say. In this game here, I'm not even sure. I think I, I started this game. I've only been streaming as a YouTube streamer for about three months, maybe maybe four months. And I think I picked up this game and started streaming in this world about... I'm going to say about two months ago. Yeah, probably two months ago I... Well, not this world, and on many, many different computers, you know. But for this, uh, for this stream, for this uh, Tethercat character, I decided to fire up Terraria, and yeah, it's been about two months. I think my accomplishments and achievements reached the Molten Underworld. I was almost there. I think I was only moments away from reaching there. Um, I think my... Uh, latest achievement was beating the Queen Bee, because I'm currently wearing bee armor. And I have a lot of minions. Um, and uh, there was a giant brain at one point, and I beat the Skeletron guy. I don't know. I haven't... The next... The next um, enemy, if you want to call him that, the next obstacle to face is a wall of flesh, apparently. But I'm just really hoping to get some of that gold coin, gold uh, ore. <sighs> oh, pardon me. merchant has departed i created this little area where i put all of my many many banners I'm really proud that i found a bast a statue a statue of the cat god bast oh hey where's my where's my pet guy i have a pet i have a pet that's a little tiny cat I didn't even think of that. My little tiny cat flies around on a uh, on a broom. And he's got a he's got a witch's hat. It's the cutest thing ever. Man, I didn't pull him out earlier today. I shoulda. Gives you a bun. Um. Oh, hey, salt block. Did you do that? I love the cat so much. I know. That's uh, a cat that I got out of the goodie bag. So I've received a goodie bag and a karate tortoise pants mask and shirt. Pizza power. Um, yeah, I got the cat out of a goodie bag as a as a light pet, and 
I think that cat is going to be with me for the remainder of any game I play. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm going to go to the silt machine and see if we can... Maybe we can get gold ore this way. If that's the case, we're going to do some silt mining. I saw gold ore. Excellent. So that's it. We're going to be mining silt. Silt and slush. That's where we're going. Cowabunga. Come on. Is this what we're doing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So we got gold ore. And that's how we do it. We, we're going to be mining silt and slush. So let's change this. Gold hunt. Silt and slush. And fossils. Yep. Oh, I guess I should put that back. Ugh. Fantastic. I think it's fossils. You can get stuff with it. Uh, yep. Actually, did I... I think I've... I don't think I have any fossils. Alright, let's head out. And... Oh, am I tired? It's uh, it's around my bedtime, but I usually just speak this quietly anyway, just in general. Yeah, this is this is my normal streaming voice. I I don't play aggressively. I don't play aggro games. I'm not a Call of Duty type of person. In fact, one of my, one of my favorite things to do in the stream is fishing. but we're going to be looking for silt and slush at the moment. Currently, I live near Toronto, so currently it's around midnight. It's just shy of midnight here. And I'm the type of old cat, the old gray-haired cat that I get up around 6 or 7 in the morning. So it's definitely past my bedtime. I mean, I only do fishing either in the game or in, uh, yeah, basically fishing games. That's where I do fishing. All right. Now then, if I were silt and slush, where would I be? I don't know, I just enjoy a really quiet, chill game. I enjoy the mundanity, the adventure. Yeah. It's one of those... Whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot my wrench. Gotta go back and grab my something wrench. All right. Silt and slush. Look over silt and slush. Something's going on down there. What's that? What is that? Looks like a turtle? Buggy statue. Alright. Press control. Oh yeah, I mean, I can easily press control, yeah. This is a spider statue. 
Wall Creeper statue. Tomato, tomato. Let's see what's over there. Yeah, nothing's over there. It's just a dart trap. Oh, ice chest. There we go. Now we're now we're cooking with heat. Weak snowball cannon. Don't think I've ever seen it. Snowball cannon. Sounds fun. Here's some slush. All that happened. Got lots of crimtain, so I don't really need crimtain anymore. Oh, there's some slush there. Are you a furry? No offense. You know what? I am not. With that said, so. So I'm not a furry. I, I don't I don't represent as Tether Cat. Uh, but the nickname of Tether Cat came about a long time ago. It came about uh, about a decade ago I started using Tether Cat. It was an in joke between friends. And um one of the things that happened a decade ago was that like, I was really using it for Halo and all my other online gaming purposes. It became a bit of an in-joke, like, quite the in-joke, to be honest. Um, oh yeah, I don't want stone. And, uh, people really took a shining to this whole Tethercat notion. Like, they, they found it as funny as I did. For the same reasons that I found it funny as well. So it was it was mutually enjoyed by the friend base, if you would. At any rate, um, when it came time for me to look into doing some streaming as as a YouTuber, hey buddy, what up? Uh, I went looking for someone who could adequately do the tether cat aspect do it justice and i had to look around so many places to see if i could find an artist who could use a tether cat um who who could design a tether cat i don't know insignia emblem logo and it turns out i found a guy he's uh, an actual uh, well, I should say they. They are an actual Japanese manga artist. Name of Mizu. It says Victor is nearby. And when I contacted Mizu and approached Mizu and said, Hey, uh, could you design a VTuber avatar who hangs upside down as a cat? Mizu said, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. So, in assistance with Mizu, uh, this avatar, Tethercat, truly came to life. Like, you can see that it's just, it really works out very well. I did not design this. I 
I acquired Mizu's uh, assistance on this one. Lost Girl. Excellent. I have been looking for Lost Girl, so come get me. And, um, anyway. Now, with that said, I have been streaming for about two months, and the majority of the people, well, I mean, I'm a cat. I mean, I'm a cat wearing a witch's hat and holding a broom at the moment. Um, the majority of people who notice this stream and who are curious enough to... Well, that worked. Um, and who are curious enough to join in on this, any of the conversations that I have, they are definitely part of the furry community. So I've almost become a, I want to say, associated or affiliated with the furry community, not by des not by choice, but by design. Um, and from there. I've been invited to conventions. I actually showed up to a furry convention. Once again, I'm not a furry. And I even went there and I told them that. I said, hey, I'm just, I'm an outsider. I'm just hanging out here. I got an invite. And they said, that's cool. Not everybody's a furry. You're more than welcome to just chill out and join us. Just don't be a jerk about it. And I said, oh yeah, thanks. That's cool. And so yeah, I became affiliated with the furry community, although I myself am not a furry. I wouldn't even say I'm a half furry. Well, I wouldn't say I'm a half furry, but then again, as as you know and as everyone knows, we can be our own worst judgment. So I say I'm not a furry, but Perhaps other people might have different judgments, right? Yeah, I don't I wouldn't consider myself a furry. I really wouldn't. Riley the traveling merchant. If I'd known that we were gonna be doing slush and silt for the gold watch, I would have done this a long time ago. This is great fun. I don't mind this at all. There's just so much in the ice world. Um, and you know what? I love cats too. And that's where this, that's where this, uh, nickname comes from. Because by, by the name of it, Tether Cat implies that there's, you know, beating up on a cat. And the in-joke between myself and my friends was that uh, I had my friends come over to my house years ago. And they were asking, oh yeah, how's your cat doing? And I said, oh, I hate my cat. I hate my cat so much. And meanwhile, as I'm telling my friends exactly the lengths to which I despise my cat. My cat's just sitting right beside me, purring. Absolutely. It just... Just full of love. Full of no hurtful animosity or anything. Just absolutely enjoying life to its absolute fullest. So... I was saying, oh yeah, I can't stand this cat. It's the worst cat ever. Horrible, horrible cat. And I'm saying that while this cat is completely smitten and full of love and ring and it was just, yeah, it was so nice. So they all had a good chuckle at that. And then we called her, uh, and then I started calling myself Tether Cat shortly thereafter. And the name stuck, and we played video games for years afterwards, and as I say, the name stuck. So yes, I I also love cats. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, here we go. Gold mine. Yes, please. So, yeah, anyway, that's a little bit about me. That's the tether cat experience, if you will. I'm a pretty chill streamer. I'm still pretty new on the block. I've only been streaming for about three or four months. July 1st? July 2nd. Actually, July 1st. And realistically, I've been streaming for about four years. I have a job at a cat sanctuary. That's really cool. Like That's extremely cool. That's something to be very proud of. You're supplying the uh, needed... You're, you're supplying a needed role in society. And so you should feel very good about your your position of uh, assistance. It's not easy being involved in a cat sanctuary and things of those nature, so yeah, good job. Good on you. Here's a goodie bag. Downside is I'm allergic to cats. Now that is a downside. And I can't I can't give you anything other than pure sympathy for that. And I brown pressure plate, we can get rid of that. Yeah, you got my sympathy there. Um Oh. Excellent. And uh, one of my one of my old friends was also allergic to cats, but also fell in love with this cat, which I had mentioned. One of my favorite friends, if you would. I, this cat was just such a loving, lovable beast. And my my old acquaintance friend, he also fell in love with this cat. The original tether cat, if you would. So, he fully endorsed the uh, the tether cat moniker. Gave it his thumbs up. not going to stop me no it, it, as well it shouldn't well i mean it could stop you i mean ultimately you know being part of a cat a cat sanctuary that's a noble thing it really truly is but at the end of the day you have to look after your own health right you oh there's a chest over there at the end of the day you really have to Make sure that you're around, because the longer that you're around, the longer that you can help others. I speak from so much experience saying that. too bad though yeah and i bet that the the clientele if you will to use a phrase the clientele i bet that the cats that you affiliate yourself with i bet they enjoy that 
the level of uh, care that you provide them as well. Are you in hard mode? No, I am in extreme casual mode. Flipper, sandcastle bucket, that's cute. Night owl, sure. Danger sense, sure. No, I'm in I'm in casual mode. I don't have any desire to put myself in unnecessary harm's way any more than I have to. Sandcastle bucket. Sure. Okay, I think that'll do for collecting silt, and if not, we can always come back for more. Let's go see the fruits of our wares. Big name Chungus. <laughs> uh, silt machine right over here. Oh, what do you know? I got a vampire frog staff. I guess that happened. Well, don't need that. Um, right slush. Actually, let's let's take out that vampire frog staff. And let's do a quick sort. Go back and grab our Mystic Abigail flower. Head back down. Drop off some of the stuff. He's so big and so cute, but he hurts so much. Aww. Quick stack. We can also... Yeah, we're pretty good there. Where's the... Um, we haven't talked about any quests lately, but... Batfish, sure. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Oh yeah, the, the die guy. Hey, die guy. I want to purchase a dye vat. Then I want to make some silver or some blue dye. Crafting blue cyan dye. There we go. Get a bruise because of him. Hint for him. Yeah. What is it, the the ones who hurt us the most, if you would? Here we go. Let's see if we can use this cyan dye and craft. How would I even do this? How would I even... Bloom? Frozen platform now. All right, let's put the cat shirt and the cat pants on the character. We'll take the cyan dye. No, that didn't work. Hmm. The cat mask, cat shirt, and cat pants is a Halloween item, and if I can actually change them to be the color of tethered cat then I think I win problem is I just don't know how to do it I'm not up on my crafting you know how to use dye I don't know how to use dye in the least I have no idea how to use dye um I've I've been playing this for years and years, and I have never once used dye. Oh, it's right here. That's where it is. It's a little...
There we go. <laughs> so now I'm wearing a vanity shirt and pants for a cat with cyan dye. There we go. Tether cat. As well, I have my fishing hat and my fishing beard. <laughs> because. <laughs> because. Because it's cute. Because. There we go. See? You learn something new every day. Um, hey, you got anything for me? A pygmy necklace. Increase your max number of minions by one. Yes, please. And drop that up there. Let's get rid of the frog and we'll bring out the flower. One, two, three, four, five. All right. There we go. Now we've got us a pretty, pretty keen looking ghost here. And do we have enough? Oh, yeah, we were going to do. I want to drop that frog staff off. Can I drop the frog staff off? What can we get rid of in here? Cardinal beans. Alright, let's see if we get enough for a gold watch, shall we? Slush block. My my thoughts are we definitely will have enough for a gold watch. Um Great. Don't need the ice block. Don't need the snow block. I've got a sneeze. Hold on a moment. You know what? I didn't sneeze. But then I... Uh... Yeah, Abigail. Uh, so if you... If you choose the vampire staff... The frog staff. You can choose one, two, three, four, five. Right? And then you just continually reuse the fifth one. So that's that's what happens when you get five minions that way. But with the flower, oh, and the same goes for the hornets, but with the flower, you get one. Now take a look at her flower up here. Right now it's red. Two, three. The flower is bigger. Four. The flower shrinks and turns purple. Five. So now she's got the strength, single handed strength, of five of the vampire frogs. I know. They say one of the things to, that you can use to get a sneeze out is to stare at the sun. I don't want to do that. Okay, anyway. Slush, here we go. Gonna have a lot of things going on here. Um, here we go. Gold ore. Gold ore, excellent. Keep that gold ore coming. We need as much gold ore as we can handle. Gold ore 14. Gold ore 17. Gold ore 18. Two pieces of amber. Okay. And then, is that enough to get us some gold bars? Gold 
gold bar. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five gold bars. We are now at nine. Can we get the gold watch? Where's the uh, 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 chain? Chain, chain, chain. Gold watch. Maybe I gotta head up to that guy. Hey, guy. Crafting. Gold bar. What can I craft? Here we go. Gold watch. Table and chair. So I'm standing right next to the table and chair. But I'm not seeing a gold watch. Because I need 10 gold bars, so we're just shy. Just shy. Because we've got one gold ore and nine gold bars. Oh. Oh well. We're doing pretty good. We just need sand. Sorry. Silt. Slush. Let's head down and see if we can maybe find some silt. give level 5 Abigail a test run. Well, that's a success. She's just going to town. Mm-mm. I suppose I could go get some fossils. Problem is I don't know what fossils look like. What do fossils look like? There's something going on over there, eh? Some to the right. Have I collected any? Well, I want to take care of whatever this is first, because this sounds pretty deadly, to be honest. So as soon as I figure out what all that is, then I'll go back to the right. like a series of deadly traps right here. Huh. Oh, I get it. 
You get it? It's a, uh, it's a chamber that kills you when uh, you activate the trigger. There, trigger's deactivated. Okay. That's pretty ingenious. Said, and I know that you've got to get up in around the 6 a.m. mark yourself. I'm actually on holidays this week from my work. So, I actually don't need to be up at 6 a.m. <laughs> That's why I'm taking a little bit of time trying to figure out this, this area right here. Good job, team. <laughs> Good work. How many bosses? Uh, if you're talking today, today is zero. If you're talking in this world, in this session, since I started about two months ago, I defeated King Slime about three, possibly four times. I've defeated Skeletron once. I've defeated the Eye of Cthulhu once. I've defeated the Brain of Cthulhu twice. I've defeated three Queen Bees. And I believe that's the extent of the bosses that I've fought and defeated. Additional to that, uh, the first couple of bosses that I fought were extraordinarily difficult. Like, I can't begin to describe exactly how, how hard those first few bosses were. So, I'm feeling pretty good that I was able to uh, successfully take on... Uh, to successfully take on... King Slime, defeat him, and then progress further. Oh, you got school, do you? Well, your studies take priority. Your studies take priority over... Oof. 300 DPS. Um, your studies take priority over watching Terraria, so... Just remember to do your best. Now then, let's see. I'm looking for... Is this fossil? That's amber. Ooh, what's all that? Hey, I got some sturdy fossil. Yep. Just make sure that you, uh, you, you watch your entertainment in moderation, especially when you're studying. 
Oh, I think this is... I think this is fossil. Um... I can speak from experience and tell you that when if it's your if it's your first time around in school if you're in college or if you're in public school or high school uh, you can get another chance later in life but it's incredibly difficult it's so much easier at the time you're there at the time you're doing it so so take full advantage of that. Don't don't pass up the opportunity for furthering your education at the time you need to do so. Or, in other words, try and live your life with as few regrets as possible. And if you're very young, uh Hey, who's that guy? If you're very young, then you're in seventh grade, eh? If you're very young, if you're in seventh grade, then definitely to put your uh, your grades in priority. I'm just an old man. I'm 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 an old man comparable to your to your elders. <laughs> Uncle Tethercat speaks from experience on this one. I don't know if you need to be inspired by my kind words, but yeah, they're just words from a stranger on the internet. Just words to be thought about. You don't need to really do anything further than that. Just keep them in mind. You'll have plenty of opportunities later on in life to, to accomplish all your goals. You don't need to do anything right now. Except your best. So, I wonder if that fills our fossil quota. I have no idea if that's the fossils that it's asking for, but I feel pretty good about that. Let's head back. When am I going to stream again? I usually stream... Um, currently, I'm on vacation, so currently I'm streaming once a day, which is, I might add, very fun. Well, desert fossil is not what we're looking for. <laughs> Gosh darn it. What about sturdy fossil? Is that what we're looking for? Nope. <laughs> I just can't win. So it's not sturdy fossil. It's not desert fossil. How about amber? Can we put amber in there? Nope. <laughs> um, 
I will probably be on tomorrow. I have a busy day of chores, of road trips, driving all over the giant Toronto area. But... Uh, uh, yeah. I think uh, I'm going to continue playing for a little while longer, get that gold watch, finish up the stream, and then I'll be heading to bed. And Yeah. You can always, um, if you're curious, you can subscribe to the channel. And I'm not asking you to subscribe simply to become a subscriber. Uh, but mostly that you can get alerts or notifications when I'm streaming. And you don't have to do that. I'm usually on once or twice a week when I'm not on holiday. As well, I have a Twitch channel. And I like to watch old movies and cartoons on my Twitch channel. So, if that is to your liking, then that's also an option for you. But yeah, I'll leave it at that, and uh, whatever you so choose, if, if you would... If you would... Um, do what you will. And no harm will come for any of your choices. There we go. That's what I wanted. Hey, well, thank you for the subscribe. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate it, nonetheless. And, uh... I hope that in the future, if, uh, if you're watching, this is the, the, you know, stream never really gets more intense than this. And I keep it pretty clean, all things considered, so... Yeah. But if uh, if if you have to wake up in around the roughly six o'clock in the morning time, then I think you should. It would be in your best efforts to head out, if that time is within an eight-hour span, give or take, from now. You. You definitely don't want to make your guardians angry with you for staying up past your bedtime. <laughs> and if you're still far from your bedtime, well, then you just want to get some good food in you. Tonight I made a cheeseburger and it was glorious. I had me a cheeseburger. It was one of those, um, it was one of those new cheeseburgers, uh, plant-based meat. And for an old guy like me, oh, for 4.30 or sorry, 9.30, you're doing fine, but you could still go get some food. Yeah, I had one of those plant-based burgers and for an old guy like me, it was really tasty. I quite enjoyed it. Nine thirty. Yeah, you're probably to to hazard a guess, you're probably on the west coast, which is a fair cry from where Toronto is. I was I was in a another stream speaking with another streamer. And we were speaking about how... Oh, I'm out of torches. We were speaking about how um, Vancouver is the Toronto or the Hollywood of the North. And there was an entire conversation about that the other day. One out of ten. How was the cheeseburger? Oh. To be, I mean, it was great, but I actually screwed up cooking it because I'm just not that great a cook. So, how was the cheeseburger? The cheeseburger was fine. The rest of it was kind of not that great. <laughs> and that's fine, too. I've, I've had better. <laughs> yeah, um... But I had also intended. I also had 
the intention to um, uh, to make some macaroni and cheese tonight. Yeah, near Vancouver. I have a friend out in Abbotsford, British Columbia. Good friend of mine from high school went out to Abbotsford, British Columbia. And became a pretty pretty prominent person out there. Pretty pretty famous person for what he does in his community. That's nice. I'm always happy to hear good things about people and friends from the past doing well. Oh that's that's stone. We don't want stone. I was out in Vancouver a couple of years ago. I visited visited Vancouver for a short period of time. Nothing really happened. I I was there as a tourist. Yeah, Abbotsford. I don't know Abbotsford. I don't really I can't tell you any stories about my time in Abbotsford, but it's quite possible because the world is pretty small, all things considered. It is quite possible that you know my high school friend <laughs> possibly be your neighbor. Who knows? And uh, it's just one of those small world things where occasionally people surprise you. Hmm. Where's all the silt and slush? Is it over there? Do I gotta go that way? Yeah. Man, I gotta do silt and slush this way. Fine. What's your high school friend's name? I can't tell you that. If you've seen streamers, if you've seen YouTube, you know that I can't give you that information. Ooh. There's some salt and slush right there. It's comedic more than anything because, you know, there is a possibility that you may know them, but the internet being the internet, there's no way that I could divulge that information. Hey, Pink Fairy, where you want to go? you pink fairy i'm just trying to survive bear with me did i say salt and slush i meant silt and slush That's it. You just called me over here for a heart. Well, that's incredibly disappointing. Thanks, pink fairy lady. However, we got another cyan husk, so that's good.
And then there's all of this right here. Lots of slush right here. Excellent. Do, 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 do. With this, we should definitely have enough for the gold watch. Although I can't, I can't be certain of that. I still want to get as much as possible, just on the off chance we don't have enough for the gold watch. I don't want to have to come back here a seventeenth time. One of the fun things I did over on my Twitch channel the other night was uh, I managed to get the capability for oh, um, I managed to get people to comment on the stream and by doing so they could activate the ability to throw things at my tether cat avatar. So, so there were a lot of people commenting on uh, just normal words, really. But but watching the reaction to see me flailing around from their words. It was incredibly amusing. There was a surprising number of old people on YouTube as streamers. Many more than what I had anticipated. I didn't think there'd be that many. Oof, look at this. Party going on up there. Yeah. Ah, ah. Compass. Oh, thank you. Oh, we need gold. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, chest. And I think we've been here. definitely been here. Well, thanks for showing up there, uh, Cheeseburger. It's been fun having you around. Always good to have people to talk to when you're doing a stream, and uh, I hope I was well. And I hope I was able to entertain you to an extent. If you happen to be around and I'm streaming, you're more than welcome to tag along, join me while I talk about this, that, and nothing else. Yeah, by all means. 
come on back and uh, enjoy the ride. Now, now go and take off and, for gosh sakes, eat your vegetables. <laughs> Have a good night, okay? Study hard. Study hard so that you too can program video games such as Terraria. <laughs> Have a good night, okay? Thanks, I, I'll do my best. There we go. Gold watch. Hey, buddy. Crafting. I have a gold watch. What can I build? GPS. Gold watch, depth meter, and compass. Tinker's workshop. GPS. Awesome. Ding. PDA is a GPS, a fish finder, goblin tech, and a wreck three thousand. Fish finder. Hmm. I don't know how to get a fish finder, but figure that out. Far so good. Huh. We're in GPS and REK. We've accomplished several things. We have several more to go crafting. 
What's that say? Crafting. Crafting. PDA. GPS. Fish finder. Goblin tech. Wreck. Fish finder and goblin tech. Ugh. Now we have to find goblin tech. Do you know where I get goblin tech? How about you? Oh yeah, and then there's that guy up top. Creeper mask. Because of course. some point I'm gonna have to sort these out but until then I think we're doing okay yeah drop the creeper stuff in there get rid of those eggs love to have the violent feral claws but I think having the stinger necklace and pygmy necklace is quite good including the shark tooth necklace which if I could I would <sighs> all right well I think we're pretty much done this stream We've done well. We've done very well, everybody. For those watching along, you should all be proud of yourself. <sighs> we made some grand accomplishments in the past few days. We've got a very, very kick-ass Mystic Abigail's Flower. Let me just check one th thing. Goblin tech. PDA. Fish finder and goblin tech. Goblin tech is a stopwatch, DPS meter, and metal detector. Stopwatch and DPS meter are sold by the traveling merchant, while the metal detector is dropped by the nymph. Okay, so that's goblin tech. What's 
the fish finder. Fish finder is weather radio sextant. And fisherman's pocket guide. So we still have quite a bit to do before we get the PDA. More fishing quests. Ugh. Ugh. It's more fishing quests. That's what that means. So, everybody do your best. Haha. <laughs> And here we are at the top of the hour. Well, let's, uh... Let's be done with the day. We had a good stream. We had a great day. A lot of... A lot of singing and karaoke and what have you. And accomplishments. Ooh, in Terraria. So, on that note. Everybody, as always, I want to say fangs for watching. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you.